when India and Indians were suffering from the virus that started its journey in Wuhan, many Chinese mocked India and laughed at Indians. But the situation is different today. Indians are experiencing their pre-COVID freedom while millions of Chinese are locked in their homes. So watch these videos. They tell you a story that the Chinese government seems to be too embarrassed to share with the world. Want to know why? Well, the reason why China is too ashamed to show these scenes to the world and the reason why these scenes are heavily censored is because China thinks that a defeat of China's dynamic COVID policy will be a defeat to its political system. Yes, a global defeat to the Chinese political system can be the Chinese Communist Party's worst nightmare. So, no matter how much the Chinese economy suffers, no matter how much the ordinary Chinese suffers, China cannot accept defeat. It is likely to do its best to delay the defeat or even aim for a victory. It seems hell-bent on showing the world that its political system is better than the Western democratic system. Somehow, the rest of the world has largely learned how to live with the virus. But things are still very different in China. China went for a super strict COVID policy. It survived the virus for some time, but in that process, it didn't allow its people to develop natural immunity. Also, China's vaccine nationalism does not seem to be helping either. As many in the rest of the world are almost back to what it was like during the pre-COVID times, in some ways, China is still living in 2019. It was reported that US companies in China are worried that a surge in COVID cases in the country will hurt consumer and investment spending and that the country recorded around 32,000 new domestic COVID cases, the highest daily total to date. According to the chairman of the American Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai, China is becoming a less attractive investment destination. The British state-affiliated media reported that before the pandemic, China's growth was around 6%. Its most recent GDP figure was 0.4%. The local government knows that zero COVID is tanking the economy and doesn't want anyone speaking about it. Millions of people are facing harsh lockdowns and people are out on the streets protesting and asking to be freed. Perhaps China didn't predict the disaster correctly. It was proud of its policy and in many ways it still is. Not so long ago, articles were published praising the Chinese model, exploring what China's coronavirus response can teach the rest of the world. So is the controversial zero-COVID policy that China has presented as a scientific response against the global coronavirus pandemic failing? Maybe it is too early to label the Chinese approach as a complete failure. At this moment, China can somehow present several statistics to support its claim. Here in India, people haven't forgotten how many Chinese netizens and Chinese state-affiliated media mocked India when the largest democracy in the world was fighting the virus. But Indians who I have spoken to are concerned for China and wish China the very best in fighting the virus. China is an important member of BRICS and the Indian government is likely to feel sympathetic toward the ordinary Chinese who are suffering due to this situation. See you again.